one of my family members went to rehab for alcohol and I knew that I was worse than what they were at my age and that if I would continue to stay on the path that I was in, I would, I would be even worse than they were. Growing up, I was involved in church and I was a part of a Christian family where everyone was just so on fire for God, so involved into ministry and um, as well as I was. By fifth grade, I was hanging around a few friends who really weren't Christians and they kind of influenced me. By sixth grade, I was 11 years old whenever I first got drunk. By seventh grade, I started drinking even more to where I was partying on weekends with high schoolers. Um, by my eighth grade year, I turned 14 and I was literally drunk every single weekend. Friday through Saturday, I would drink my life away. Um, and that's whenever I also started smoking. I began smoking um, little by little, but it just kept getting worse. On Saturdays, I would drink so much that when I'd wake up to go to church on Sunday with my mom, I would either still be drunk or I'd have a massive hangover to where I didn't even want to function. By my freshman year, that's when everything just got worse began going to any party I could possibly go to, as well as I began going to college parties. I would find myself just drunk, passed out somewhere. Uh, I'd have multiple cigarettes in my hands where I was smoking more than one at a time. I wouldn't know where I'd end up the next morning because I was so drunk to even know where I had left the party to go to. My parents also got divorced in October of that, of the beginning of my freshman year. And um, it was really hard on me. And I just found myself completely starting to depend on alcohol. A few pictures of me were sent in of me drinking and smoking. And I, almost was kicked off of cheer. I continued to drink and I continued to party. I continued to lie to my mom and my friends. I used my friends, every single one of them, for alcohol and they used me for money because I would tell them if they would get my alcohol, I would pay for theirs. By March, or so I found myself in a situation to where I was caught in a lie and my my nanny found out that I was completely and totally just wasted on New Year's to where she was very concerned about me and she tried to get me to come to Elevate but I didn't, I really wasn't interested because I felt like I was going to be judged. I felt like they wouldn't accept me because of my past and because of my dependency on alcohol. I finally got the courage to even walk through the doors and when I did, I felt like I was so awkward. I was just didn't know how to react to it. I was trying so hard not to curse and I was trying my best to put on an act, but as soon as worship came on and as soon as um, Josh started preaching, I just, it clicked back into me that this is where I belong. This is um, where I was supposed to be at. The first Wednesday that I had went to Elevate, it was the week before the student conference and I had 
found myself just kind of getting excited for it. I didn't really know how to open up into it, but I, I knew that I was through with disappointing my parents and disappointing my family and being paranoid to where I, I knew that this is where I should be at. This is what I should be involved in. And um, at Elevate Student Conference, that was the place where I completely opened my heart and gave my heart to God. And ever since then, I've not been the same. I'm not a liar. I'm not dependent on alcohol. And in that same year, I tried out for worship team and I made it. And I've just I've just been so full of joy that the hole inside of me that I was always trying to fulfill with alcohol and cigarettes and parties and, and cursing was just fulfilled with God. And ever since then, I've been living a God-filled life and just been so happy to where I just don't know when to quit smiling anymore. And I've just, I've never been, um, just I've never been so happy before. It's just, it's been amazing what God has done into me. That's good. <laughs>